Well, 2014 is going out and 2015 is coming in. In just a few hours, that'll happen. So I wanted to give my annual technology predictions for 2015. Every year for the last three years, I've done this, and this is no exception. I watched last year's video right before I started making this video, and I had a pretty good track record. I had quite a few right of my predictions. Now, I base my predictions and my thoughts off experience. As you know, I'm in the technology business. I repair computers and do consulting and things like that. So I'm basing my ideas off things that I see around me. And who knows, maybe I'll get some of them right again this year. So let's get started with Steve's predictions. It's coming up. All right, for my first prediction, this one's about Windows 10. As predicted in last year's video, Windows 8 was going to go out silently. And that seems that that's going to happen because Microsoft has announced that in the third quarter of 2015, the new operating system for consumer-based products, Windows 10, will be introduced. There's actually a download available for it right now that you can test it and uh, check it out. I'm going to be doing a video on that shortly on my channel. Anyway, according to their track record, and my prediction is that it should be a hit. The reason why, if you look back at the history of Microsoft, starting with XP, XP operating system was a really good operating system and I liked it and it's still used a lot today. Then came Millennium Edition. If you remember Millennium Edition, it was horrible just horrible. And then Windows 2000, and that was great, right? That's still being used a lot today, too. And then Windows Vista came through. Again, terrible, terrible operating system. And then Windows 7, which is great, right? Most people love Windows 7. Now, Windows 8, that lasted only about a year, year and a half. Now we're getting Windows 10. And according to history and the way it's working out, I would say that Windows 10 is going to be a hit. And it should be because they've gotten enough feedback from angry users of Windows 8. As I understand it, they're putting the start menu back and a lot of the features will go back to the way that Windows 7 looked. With their added functionality of the tiles and the charms and that sort of thing. So anyway, Windows 10 should be a hit. I'm guessing that in 2015 we're going to see a lot more flexible computing devices as well as more commonplace for curved computer screens. You know, you see that now with the technology of OLEDs with the curved surfaces and Samsung has come out with a flexible tablet. Not very mainstream right now, but I expect by 2015, the last part of it, it may be a thing that all can enjoy. I thought about even what if they came up with a wallet for men that was flexible, that contained a small computer. I thought that'd be pretty neat. It could keep track of your transactions and keep all your identification just in a, like a flexible wallet. The curved surfaces for computer screens, I think, are also going to catch on a lot more, and the price will drop on those, as consumers like the wraparound look of a larger screen especially. So curved surfaces and flexible technology is definitely in our future. I also think that in 2015, we're going to see a lot more wireless charging devices. Although the technology exists right now to charge certain cell phones and that sort of thing wirelessly, I think it's going to get a big boost this next year in addition to the magnetic coupling. You know, there's like a magnet that fits on the iPhone and you don't have to actually plug it in, it just connects with magnets. So that sort of technology as well as the mat technology where you just put your cell phone down on a mat or other surface and it charges it and you can just pick it up and at a certain range it works inductively. 
So I think that wireless charging is really going to come into play in 2015. What do you think? This next one is something I wanted to predict because I really hope it comes true. And that's about solar panel technology for providing electricity for an off-grid situation. I think that 2015 is going to be the year that solar panels drop dramatically and make it affordable for most consumers to afford. You know, an average solar system for a house is around $20,000 currently. And that number is really going to have to drop down because the payback for a solar system of that price is just not practical for most. In addition to the drop in the solar technology, I also think that we're going to see some independent companies popping up that offer to install a system free of charge into a consumer's home with the the uh, deal that they get the profits off the extra power that's generated and sold back to the grid and then the power that you use would be perhaps discounted at a very low rate. So basically a, a company could come in, install an entire solar system into your home and it wouldn't cost you anything and it actually would lower your electric bill. So that's my idea and I hope it works, hope it comes true. I believe that Blu-ray is going to be on the way out in 2015 it's going to be done away with with the new archival disc. They can hold one terabyte and last for 50 years. And if they can get the price down on the media, I think that uh, we're really going to see Blu-rays just fade out like the VCR. I really believe that's going to happen. We'll see. I see 3D printer services popping up in local towns and cities. A place where you can actually walk into and pick out an item from a catalog and have it printed while you wait. Something like a uh, one hour photo shop if you will. You could actually order online or just go in and look at their catalogs and then it pops out the other end and they just house 3D printers. So what do you think about that? Is that crazy? 3D printing centers? Hopefully in 2015 it will become mandatory for passenger carrying airplanes to have a beacon that sends out the GPS coordinates every few seconds. This should have been taken care of the first time that the Malaysia plane ended up missing and now we've got the uh, Air Asia that just happened a couple days ago and they can't find it either and with today's technology even a simple cell phone of today can tell you the position and there's no reason why they just couldn't put a GPS beacon on the airplane and have it store the coordinates every few seconds into a database and this should be mandatory it really should be so Let's look out for GPS beacons in 2015. And my last prediction is something that I've been thinking about that has to do with grocery stores and places that sell food like pantries. Because of the way that grocery store technology has changed over the years, such as bagging your own groceries or bringing your own bags, or putting a quarter in to get a shopping cart, those sort of things. It's all going to self-service. And really, to have the grocery store up and running with all the coolers and everything, and all the traffic that goes in, wouldn't it be nice if they had a place that you could walk into or online, pick out the items, and a robot would actually pick the items out of either canned or cold storage, put them in a box or a container and then you would run through a checkout line and pick up your groceries. In other words, there would be no real food out in the open to look at, just pictures of food or categories. And the way, you know, that they're spending money to make your shopping experience now with food, you don't necessarily have to see the ketchup to buy it. 
Now, I know that there are some services now, specialty services, that will allow you to buy things online or over the phone and they'll bring you your groceries. But I'm talking about like a regular grocery store that has little robots working in the back. All you do is place your order, go to the checkout, and everything's packed and ready to go. So high-tech grocery stores, maybe they're in our future. What do you think? Right now, I'd like to go ahead and look back at the year of 2014 for the Guru Brew and some of the projects and fun that we've done throughout the year. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at a video clip that Steve put together for us, and then I'll be back and we'll talk about the future for 2015 for the Guru Brew. So let's watch that now. We're going to start a new channel called the Guru Brew 2. Access denied. Well, I hope you enjoyed the projects that we did over the last year. And you know, we also started a new channel called Ask a Tech, and it's the Guru Brew 2. And we've taken a little break from that, but we plan on coming back with it real soon and answering your questions personalized about computers and technology. So look for that. I think that perhaps maybe this year we got a 3D printer. Maybe next year we can get a laser printer. So I'm going to go ahead and predict that because maybe that will come true. So I'm hoping that the Guru Brew will get a laser printer. I think that would be really cool. I wanted to thank all of you out there for the support. We've really grown as a channel. And it's uh, really surprising that we've gone from zero to 23,000 subscribers. Thanks to all of you, and I wish you all a good, healthy, happy new year. So we'll see you in 2015. Bye for now.